Costa, what do you make of this Operation Twist speculation, we'll call it, we're hearing the ECB might reinvest its maturing bond proceeds into the long end of the curve, benefiting countries like France and the peripheral nations. Do you buy into this or not? No, honestly, really, I don't buy into this story right now. It's completely premature. Um, you know, the, the ECB only announced that they w anticipate an end to QE. It's also optional, um, and we've always we've, we know that there will be reinvestments afterwards. I think it's completely premature, and I also don't think that the ECB is really looking into this already right now. Um, that is something for later this year uh, at the earliest. Where do you see the ECB? Uh, when it comes to the first rate hike, clearly, publicly, it's yeah not before the summer of next year. What about the divisions, if there are any, within the ECB? Some maybe would have wanted a rate hike a little sooner. Uh, how do you see the camps forming and their views being taken on by the whole? I, I think there is much more of a consensus right now than than, than previously. I think with, with this announcement to stop QE, I think also the hawks have been have been satisfied, and I think the the hawks can live much better with interest rates remaining on hold and by really only hiking interest rates in the fall of 2019 uh, than than markets might anticipate right right now. So therefore, I don't think that there will be a big disagreement um, on this through the summer 2019. So first rate hike is really um, we will get at least. One rate hike under un, under Draghi's presidency, and he will have two options to do that. That will be the uh, the early September 2019 meeting or the late October 2019 meeting. It's uh, either on one of these two meetings. Do you think it's important for Draghi to get the tightening process, the rate hiking process, underway before he leaves? I'd, honestly, I, I don't think that, that he has an, an ego which would call for that. I don't think that he wants to go down into history books uh, that he also could hike interest rates. If the situation is the right one and we really have a continuation of, of the recovery, if we will really see also core inflation going up, moving close to 2 percent, then Draghi will, uh, will hike interest rates um, before he leaves office. If the, situa if the economic situation is, is a much worse situation, if we don't see this pick up in underlying inflationary pressure, I think he will have no problem at all to keep interest rates low or at their uh, current level even for longer and then handing over to his uh, successor. Do you think his stance has been formed, Carsten, by the mistakes that the ECB's made in the past? Yesterday was the 10-year anniversary of that 2008 rate hike, which was unwound only a few months later. The ECB, as we know, made the yeah. same mistake in 2011. Draghi was on the governing council in 2008 and 2011. Do you think his viewpoint and his stance as a president has been at all influenced by those two events? No, definitely. And it's not only drug. I think the, 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 these two mistakes, 2008, 2011, have really been imprinted in, in all ECB members' memories. It's, it's, it's part of the institutional memory of the ECB right now, and which also explains why they rather err to the downside. So they rather keep interest rates uh, too low for slightly too long than starting a, a rate hike far too early, because definitely they don't want to repeat the 2008 and 2011 mistake. I mean, could we see the ECB tightening policy, Carsten, maybe while the Fed, if it's the back end of next year, is coming to the end or has ended its tightening policy? How unusual would that be? I think at least for a short, uh, let's say, wind of opportunity of six to nine months, it would not be, it would not be uncommon. Uh, remember, we will probably then, if the U.S. was really to slow down, if the Fed was really to stop um, the tightening cycle, we would get another discussion on decoupling of the eurozone from the U.S. Normally, this discussion lasts six to nine months. This would be the uh, the wind of opportunity in which the ECB could start hiking interest rates, provide at least a few hikes, and then we will all realize that the eurozone could not decouple from. The, from the U.S. and then the ECB will also stop the hiking cycle. I think that's for, for sure that the, the, any normalization cycle of the ECB would, would stop much earlier and at a much lower rate level than the Fed cycle.